people are freaking out about the crypto crash that we've been having from 73,000 to like $62,000. Guys, this is nothing, but I'm gonna give you some bullish news out there, out here, all right? There, here's the reason, first of all, why Bitcoin has been dropping. Now we had an outflow today or yesterday of GBTC of $643 million. Now a lot of people were thinking, wow, didn't, they didn't expect uh, this big of an outflow, but uh, GBTC has or had uh, 378,000 Bitcoin and now they got rid of another 9.6 thousand Bitcoin yesterday. So that number is going to keep ticking off and off and off. And I expect that the outflows from GBTC, GBTC to get less and less. And that's going to be really bullish for this space. All right. Now, also, one of the reasons why I really think we are kind of far from a top right now, even though I think we're going to top this year, is this Coinbase app has, has dropped uh, from 198 to 500, number 500 of, of ranking for the app store. And that is during the last 24 hour bear market or whatever. So guys, relax, chill out. We have nothing to worry about here. Uh, we have a long way to go for this bull market. We are in a raging bull market. And if you want to know a little bit of history, in 2017, 2018 bull market, we went down, okay, we went down five times over 30%. And the last time, the sixth um, uh, drop that we had was 29 point something percent. So we have a long way to go, guys. Like this pullback, 10, 12%. Nothing. Relax. Chill out. And if you want to get my take on when the market is crashing, join us at learningcrypto.com, home of the CT club, where I can, if you need your hand holding, that's fine. I will do that. That's where I, I share my opinion on the market, on what is happening, and also my entire portfolio. Now, we have Bitcoin ETF net outflows of 2.3 thousand Bitcoin. The new nine have inflows of 7.3 thousand Bitcoin. So now we have the total Bitcoin held in these ETFs at 833,800 Bitcoin, which is a massive amount. So guys, these people are buying up all the Bitcoin and they're definitely gonna get past Satoshi's amount, which is over a million now. And uh, I would say that happens very shortly. Now we also have global banking giant Standard Chartered saying this, up to $100 billion could flow into Bitcoin ETF this year. That's a lot of money. That means a lot of people are going to have a little more faith in, in the regulated Bitcoin, which is actually kind of boring to me. But regardless, people are going to be flooding in and guess who needs a lot of Bitcoin to, you know, satisfy their customers, these spot Bitcoin ETF institutions. Now we also have MicroStrategy who bought 9,245 Bitcoin for $623 million and his interest rate, check this out, for seven years, he's going to have to pay a 0.875% interest rate pennies guys this guy's gonna kill it and uh anybody that bought these dips lately are going to kill it as well this is a normal drop okay like i said before this is we are nowhere near a top in my opinion even though i think we're going to top this year but the time right now is just to relax and not to freak out there's a lot of panic out there don't don't get into that panic with everybody else because most people are emotional they don't know how to handle this brand new asset class that which is very volatile and it's unlike uh, traditional finance where they have circuit breakers for their government can shut shut down the stock, you know, because if it's going up too fast or going down too fast, they literally have the power to shut it down. With crypto, you don't have that, which is really nice. It's still the Wild West. It's fun if you can just chill. Anyways, that's all I have. Please like and, su like and subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.